Halloween is the remake, well, sequel to the original 1978 Halloween. The original 1978 Halloween is a good film. Halloween, this one is all about Michael Myers and a bunch of other inmates getting in a bus crash as they're being transferred to a uh, actual prison instead of a mental hospital. Because there's nothing more they can do with them, so now they are just being sent to a uh, prison. And Lori Strode finds out that uh, this bus has been overturned. She knows that this is the day and that this is the bus that Michael Myers is on. So now she's like, well, he's coming after me. He's going to kill more people. It's time to find him and lure him to my house in order to finally kill him. This film is very brutal. This is a brutal film. But not as great as people are saying it was. I thought it was good. I thought it was a very solid horror film. Not really a horror film. It's more of like a thriller than a horror film. But it, it it's not all that scary. It's more of like a slasher movie. It's more of a slasher horror movie. Like uh, Michael Myers rips somebody's jaw off and stuff like that. I mean, it's not that big a deal. Um, but when it really gets interesting, like really truly 100% gets interesting, is the 100... No, not the 100 minute mark. Probably the last 10, 15 minutes of the movie when Judy Greer is actually in the house with her mother. Uh, and her daughter is super hot. I mean, she's really nice to look at. But she also does a good job in this film too. There is one thing that draws the film back. And that's when you're not seeing Michael Myers. I know you need story there. I know you need story. But when you're not seeing Michael Myers, like uh, there's this thrown in there dating storyline i don't know why you needed that in there because you never see the kid again and also speaking of a kid uh when um this girl named vicky who is friends with allison which is the name of judy greer's daughter uh um laurie strode's granddaughter she is babysitting this little boy and the uh, dialogue between them is so well done, the acting is so well done, the comedy is there, it works, and it's awesome. However, when something happens, I'm not going to spoil it, when something happens, you never see him again. He's just in those three scenes that he's in, and he's out of there. Just like that. But whatever, this film was a solid film, and I cannot wait to, uh, I cannot wait to see if we get a sequel to this. I think we might. So, I give... The new Halloween movie, an A minus. I thought it was an enjoyable film. I liked it very much. Will I ever watch it again? A couple more times, but it's good enough for a one-time watch, I would say, in the theater.